Hello all, so this is my second video which will be covering the topic how we can create reusable components in Angular. So considering web application we came across normally to render tables in many different pages. Some columns might be different but basic structure is the same. So instead of uh, having that table code everywhere in the everywhere we can create that table as a reusable component so that we don't have to write that HTML code in every pages where we want to render the table. So basically we have to use the reusable component and pass the array data whatever the along with the columns which you want to render to that particular page. So this is the sample application I have created. Let's get into the code. This is just the basic angular application in that I have created a component reusable table. So in component.ts as, as this will be a reusable component, we might be needing input to send data from the parent component to this component. So I have taken two inputs, grade data and call data. Grade data will be the actual array data which we, which we will be sending to this component to actually render on the table. Call data is the collection of uh, columns to render our headings. Okay. So HTML code, just the simple basic example how we can create a HTML uh, table widget. So starting with the some bootstrap classes, table responsive to make it responsive. Then again, we have table with the basic bootstrap classes. So talking about T heading. So in, in component.ts we have created one input as a call data. So I'm using call data in the in first year to plot my column heading name. Key dot header you will get to know in the uh, parent component and T body. T, in T body again it will actually contain the rows of the records. So I'm using ng4 to iterate to the array. So as I already told you, grid data will contain the actual data which we will be using to render the table. So we have to extract particular field, particular field from the particular object. So like in TH we have used ng for on the call data and uh, provided with the key header. So same as we will be sending key field in call data. It will be a call data is a collection of two properties key header and the field. So field will be mapping to the grid data object. It will be cleared in the upcoming time. So first in TR I will be using for loop for all the records I have. So again into that TR, TD will be also with the iterative form. Like we have TH in the iterative form, same as in TD. So with NG4, we will be uh, doing for loop on the call data. And in while extracting data, we will be extracting from grid data of particular field. Just keep this mind in for the table. Now go to the parent table app.component.html. So in this component, I have just created a function load grid. It will call my service, user service, which will actually get the data. Let's add a table for now. And call data. Call data you can call data is a simple array having two properties, field and the header. Field will be the value which we will be mapping to the grid data and header which will which we are going to show as a table heading. You can see it for now, header. It will be put, uh, better clear once we get to the demo. So now let's get here. I'm starting now. So I'm reloading the page. So let's print in a console. So this is the simple object which we are getting from the JSON placeholder APIs. So here 
look at the email id name phone username and website these are the field mapping which we have used in the call data id name email phone website same we will be using to extract from the object that is record field key of field data same as in considering first is a name then email then username and website email as it is so let's get into action this is the simple output with this table we can have edit and delete buttons also and with the use of output and event emitter we can send it send the back uh, send the UI whatever primary key or the record itself you want to send to the parallel component you can make use of that also it's basic simple code suppose you have a normal requirement where you you don't need any edit or delete button or just you your requirement is just to show the data with sending the proper info so in app.html this is the sample this one liner code you have to use everywhere this is the selector of that uh, reusable table component app reusable app dash reusable dot table as i have already told you we have two inputs grid data this is the grid data which we send from here grid data will contain the actual records which we get from the service let's get into the service also this is the api by using http client we are uh, fetching the, this get api and again sending the response back and we are catching here uh, in subscribe method grid data and call data call data is the just the collection of field and the header that's it thank you for watching videos i will be sure uh, i will be implementing edit and the delete uh, functionality in the table itself so that output we can more uh, we can see more deeply on the output and the event emitter also please stay tuned for the next video thank you